Hello, this is the Watch Dog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today we have another unboxing video for you. This time it's going to be another triple unboxing. All the watches just keep coming from AliExpress, and I am so far behind in my reviews. And I need to catch up with my reviews, but I still have to do these unboxing videos because I have to show AliExpress that I have received the watch so I can tell them that everything's cool. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing my Movement Classic Black Link. And Grego is wearing my Skimi Octavia homage. Grego said Han Solo asked R2 to clean Chewbacca's shower. 3PO shook his head and said you'll never find a more wretched hive of soap scum and filth me. Alright, I have three boxes from AliExpress. So let's start with the very first one that I received. This one I received about a week ago. This one was quite a surprise because I this is the very last watch I ordered and I received it already. I'm trying not to say got so much. I notice I say got a lot. Alright, that was easy to open. And it's a Cadison. Actually, one of my viewers suggested this watch. Says you get a pretty good chronograph that looks a lot like a Tissot with a sapphire crystal for a very reasonable price. So here it is. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off. Always the fun part about these steel braceleted watches is all the plastic. Looks like we got a milled clasp. And once again, it's supposed to have a sapphire crystal. I'm not going to test that now. I'll test it during the review. But this watch was only in the $30 range. And it looks like a Tissot. So you're getting a sapphire crystal and a mill clasp and it was in the $30 range. So that seems pretty impressive. I'm having a really hard time getting a grip on this plastic. <laughs> Even has a diver's extension. Can you believe that for this amount of money? I have a feeling this is a hidden gem. Once again, one of my viewers suggested this watch and so I said sure and once again it only took a couple weeks to get here I received this watch a week ago I've just been taking me a long time to get to the unboxing because I am so far behind in my reviews I must admit there's been a little uh, cold and flu season going on in this household so I haven't been at 100% health. I don't know if you notice my voice or not. But I will catch up with all my reviews. And I swear I won't order any more watches after this one. Until I at least get another 3 or 4 reviews in. Man, it's taking a long time to get this plastic off. Good thing I can edit it. Alright, here it is. It's a very nice looking watch. Once again, it resembles a Tissot. Oh, it's not a VK63. Because when I did the reset it, I didn't get that instant snapback like a VK63. So that's pretty cool. You get the smooth sweep of a VK63. So I'll have to look up and see what movement this is. Yeah, that's definitely not a VK63. Also, if you look at the bottom subdial, it looks like it's a date indicator and not a not a running second hand like a VK63. So let's throw it on the wrist, see what it looks like. Here it is, unsized on my seven and a half inch wrist. I can get 
all my fingers under here so I'll be removing a lot of links but no it's a really nice watch and really cheap and once again this is supposed to be a sapphire crystal I'm not going to get out my tester now. I'll test it during the real review. Oh, it does have a running second hand. This is so cool. I like this watch. Okay, let's see what's in the next box. We got the knife again. One of these days I'm going to cut myself. It'll be like uh, Dan Aykroyd playing Julia Child on Saturday Night Live when he cut the dickens out of his finger. Wow! Two boxes! This was a surprise. I wasn't expecting two boxes. Man, this is... This triple unboxing is turning out to be a quadruple unboxing. Can you believe that? Wow. Two boxes. This is just this is just nuts. Oh looky here. It's a Pagine Design Bond NATO. Alright. Two Pagine Designs. So let's go ahead. And we'll do the one on the right first. And here it is. It's an homage to the ever famous uh, Rolex uh, Oyster Perpetual with the Tiffany dial. Of course, it's not a Tiffany dial on the, on the Rolex either. But people like to call it the Tiffany dial because it's a similar color to a Tiffany dial. And of all the fancy colored uh, Oyster Perpetuals out there, this is the hardest one to get. So when I decided to get an homage to the Oyster Perpetual, I figured why not get the one everybody's talking about. And the nice thing is it's not any harder to get this one than any other color Pagani design. But I've never... All the Pagani Design Rolex homages I've always had have always been divers or uh, Daytona homages. This is the first just basic Oyster Perpetual Pagani Design I have. And it looks like a nice watch. And uh looks like it's got a Rolex style clasp on it. So let me get some more of this plastic off. This is gonna be a long unboxing, I have a feeling. Alright. Take off the little thing that says sapphire. And it looks like we don't have a display case back. Looks like we do have a screw down crown. So let's screw it down, wind it up a little bit. And Oh, oh, it hacks. So it's not a... They didn't pull a fast one and give me an 8215 in it. If it's not an NH35, it's still not an 8215, which is a good thing. I'll be sure to figure out what movement it has. All right, let's throw it on the wrist, see what it looks like. Here it is unsized in my 7.5 inch wrist. Looks like I can get three fingers underneath, so I'll be removing two to three links. Alright, let's get to the next one. Okay, I was mistaken about that other Pagani Design box. It's not a watch. I had ordered a part from the same store and they sent it to me in a Pagani Design box. So I will not be, this will not be a quadruple unboxing, only a triple. So let's get to the next watch. All right, let's get to this next watch. Where did I put the pocket knife? Here it is. All right, as you can tell by the shape of the box, this is another Pagani design. They should start calling me the 
fun with Pagari design instead of fun with watches because that seems to be 90% of my watches. Of course, that's a little hyperbole. I do a lot more than just Pagari design. This Pagari design happens to be some of the nicer watches for what I can afford. And here it is. This is a Bagari Design homage to Royal Oak Chronograph. So instead of getting the automatic, you get the one with the VK63. And I remember watching uh, Jody on uh, just one more watch, and he said he should have got this one because it's you're basically getting a better watch than just the Royal Oak homage, and it's cheaper. And now this one has the VK63 on it. And this looks like we got screw down pushers. And they work. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Yep, VK63. You can see the smooth sweep. And we get the instant snap back, unlike that Cadison I just unboxed. All right, let's go ahead and take the plastic off. Looks like we have an H-Link bracelet, which is pretty cool. And it looks like we have a butterfly clasp, which isn't so cool. I'm not a huge fan of butterfly clasp just because the lack of micro adjust just is irritating. Because when you have a metal bracelet, you just want a good fit. Especially a big heavy watch like this. So let's try to get some of this plastic off. This hang tag is in the way. I try not to cut the hang tags if I can avoid it. So let's go ahead and throw it on the wrist, see what it looks like. Here it is, unsized on my seven and a half inch wrist. Looks like I can get three fingers under it. So I'll be removing two to three links. So again, I like the bracelet, it's different. Most of these Pagani designs have oyster style, and this is a H link. Okay, here are the three watches again. One last look. And I will be getting reviews on all three of these watches eventually. It's going to take a while. I am so far behind and I apologize. And I will do my best to catch up now that I'm feeling better. Bye.